It's easiest to split this problem into two parts. The bomb, when dropped, is travelling horizontally with an initial speed ux, and is accelerating under the influence of gravity, so it has an acceleration of g acting downwards. It is a height h above the funnel, and when it reaches the funnel it has a new velocity vi. You can calculate this velocity either by conserving energy or by using the equations of motion with the acceleration g. For the bomb to hit the funnel with the largest depth, it will start at one side of the funnel with a velocity vi. It will be a distance d away from the other side of the funnel and will hit a distance y from the top. It still has an acceleration of g acting downwards. We can then separate out the horizontal and vertical motion of the bomb. Its horizontal velocity vx is the same as ux, where you calculated vi and so you can therefore work out the vertical component vy. You can then use the equations of motion to work out the time it will take for the bomb to cross the distance d to hit the other wall. Then you can use that and the vertical velocity vy and acceleration g to work out the distance y that it travels in this time.